next module is or next part of our biotechnology is fundamentals of animal cell culture now cell culture is a process in which uh, cells are grown in controlled conditions in a suitable nutrient medium outside the living body right organisms the foundation of animal cell and tissue culture was uh, laid by in the beginning of the 19th century by jolly in 1903 harrison in 1907 and alex alexis carroll in 1912 so alexis carroll has uh, said to um, you know grow cell cultures Uh, for around twenty years, but it was Hayflick. After that, Hayflick found that this cannot be done because uh, every cell has a finite lifespan of about fifty generations. After that, it will undergo senescence. So they had, but these three uh, persons had actually tried to grow cells in a nutrient medium. so they are considered to be very important the cell cultures obtained i uh, the cell cultures are obtained either by the enzymatic or mechanical dispersal of tissues into individual cells or it can be obtained by spontaneous migration from explant explant is actually any part of the living organism that is used for culturing now the freshly uh, now uh, before that so cell culture can be obtained by three processes by enzymatic degradation or you just uh, mechanically disperse the tissues or it can be the spontaneous migration from the piece of tissue itself now uh, the most normal uh, that is before uh, that is uh, tissues transferred remain as mono layers or it will remain as cell suspension mono layers need a uh, substrate to attach itself while suspensions can be uh, suspended in the liquid media now uh, freshly isolated cell cultures are called as primary cell culture freshly isolated cell cultures are called as primary cell culture a culture derived directly from a tissue there is a stage from cell isolation to first sub culture a primary cell culture may be obtained either by allowing the cell to migrate out from the tissue which is adhering to a substrate or by disintegrating the tissue this aggregating the tissue mechanically or enzymatically to produce a suspension of cells most normal untransformed cells survive and proliferate to produce primary culture when attached to a substrate but these cells need to be obtained by this aggregation this aggregation cells this aggregated cells can be grown in suspension to produce the primary culture this aggregation means separation from the tissue it should uh, the tissue need to separate the cells should separate from it you can add an enzyme to it then it can separate or you can just jerk it then it may separate or it may spontaneously uh, migrate from the tissue so either way they can be disaggregated and when you get that disaggregate cells you can grow them in a suspension and that will be your primary culture now when sub culturing is done from the primary culture so once you have a tissue lay uh, that is piece from that you make a culture that is the primary culture from that primary culture you sub culture it you make another culture that's called a secondary culture so this is uh, the uh, steps in establishing uh, primary culture 
so you select and isolate the organ say a brain cell a nervous cell tissue or a muscle cell or anything you select an organ then you dissect and remove the necrotic cells and fat cells and we uh, do disintegrate this aggregate them by mechanically for mechanical disaggregation we either chop or slice the tissue sieve them syringe it pipette it all these are ways of mechanically separating the cells from the tissue or it can be using enzymatic uh, disaggregation can be done by using trypsin trypsin is an enzyme which can be used either in warm or in cold form and uh, collagenase is another enzyme and other enzymes are bacterial proteases then we resuspend the uh, tissue or cell and we make a culture that culture is called primary culture and from that primary culture we can subculture it and form a secondary culture if that secondary culture uh, can be of two types that is if it is continuously dividing it is called a cell line that happens when that contains a cancerous cell so hope you understand what is an explant explant is a uh, any tissue or any part a sample of tissue that is obtained from any part of the tissue okay and you know what is a primary culture that is freshly isolated cell culture is primary culture from that when we take another and uh, uh, tissue and we subculture it is called secondary culture so here again you can take a fish or any organism you can cut them into small pieces maybe a skin piece can cut them into small pieces and then we'll add proteolytic enzyme that is called enzymatic the disintegration so you get minute cells that we place in a culture that we add suitable medium now cell line we had already mentioned that earlier that is primary cell culture can be Uh, developed into a cell line cell line means it is a permanently established cell culture that will proliferate or divide indefinitely so a cell line is a very permanently established uh, cell culture which will di- uh, divide infinitely when provided with a fresh medium and space which may either die after several, some uh, cell lines may die after c- certain time that is called finite cell lines some may grow indefinitely they are called continuous cell lines so there are two types of cell lines one is finite that is it will uh, stop dividing after a particular period of time now there are continuous cell lines which grow indefinitely now finite cell uh, lines they grow for a limited number of cell generation and have limited life the cells will grow very slowly and form a monolayer their doubling time is from 24 to 26 hours the characteristics of finite cell line are anchorage dependent anchorage naturally it can uh, divide only when they are attached to a substrate they need, they, they have contact inhibition contact inhibition means if one cell divides uh, i mean enlarges in size and when it, uh, it comes in contact with another cell it will stop its cell growth it is density limited density limitation is shown by the means it won't divide uh, that is indefinitely coming coming to the continuous cell lines they are obtained from either transform cell lines in vitro or cancerous cells they divide rapidly their generation time is 12 to 14 hours they have no contact inhibition no anchorage dependence and have no or reduced density limitation they show enhanced growth and proliferation due to rapid growth rate and different cell shape and organization of microfilaments existence of altered ploidy that is a new ploidy that is a uh, addition or deletion in number of chromosomes is uh, seen due to altered chromosome number 
so it's called continuous cell lines now the cell cultures may contain three types of cells one is uh, stem cells that is undifferentiated cell which can divide into any kind of cells then it can also contain precursor cells that is derived from the stem cells and they will be they are connected to differentiation but they are not differentiated last one is differentiated cell that is highly specialized cell which do not have the capacity to divide cell cultures may be grown as monolayers or suspension monolayer are anchorage dependent that is they need a surface or substrate to adhere to so they are able to proliferate substrate may be glass alum borosilicate glass like pyrex etc or, or even plastic like polystyrene polyethylene etc or metals like stainless uh, stainless steel uh, titanium etc suspension cultures are anchorage independent and are able to move grow in uh, layers of several cells thick and are grown in liquid media and are of different types so these are the different types of suspension uh, suspension uh, can be of different types that is batch cultures in batch culture volume of the culture medium will be fixed as the cell grows medium will be gradually depleted eventually the cells cease to divide second one is fed batch culture so batch culture la endana nammude volume of medium will be fixed as the it is adinte level koranju varumbo we replace it and after the, that is the, sorry uh, as the level gets depleted uh, the cells will stop dividing okay so the volume is fixed as the level gets lower the cells will stop dividing uh, while in fed batch culture uh, we gradually add fresh medium to it thus it will increase in uh, its culture volume and there is semi uh, continuous batch culture at regular intervals a constant fraction of culture including uh, cells is withdrawn as and an equal volume of fresh medium is added perfusion culture means at constant inter uh, that is at regular interval the constant volume of spent medium without cells is withdrawn and an equal volume of fresh medium is added continuous flow culture continuous withdrawal of culture along with cells and addition of equal volume of fresh media so that uh, the culture remains in a steady state now what are the equipment that are used in uh, cell culture that is depression slides that is shown here with cover slips then test tubes flask bottles and are used for small cell cultures for larger uh, large scale cultures you use fermenters like this large fermenters animal cell cultures require a gas phase of which oxygen and carbon dioxide are critical gases oxygen tension is usually maintained at atmospheric level uh, but some cultures may require higher or lower oxygen tensions in case of suspension culture in large vessels like fermenters special arrangements have to be made for proper aeration culture media the nutrient media used for the culture of animal cells and tissues must be able to support their survival as well as growth they must provide nutritional and hormonal factors it is of two kinds the natural media or artificial media natural media consists solely of naturally occurring biological fluids like coagula clots biological fluids like amniotic fluid pleural fluid serum aqueous humor of the eye insect hemolymph etc tissue extracts like chick embryo extracts spleen liver uh, bone marrow extracts etc usually they are used for organ culture artificial media is with or without serum are used for cell cultures example of a serum containing media is eagles minimum essential media with 5 to 20 percentage serum serum provides a plasma protein dalbeck's enriched modification of